I was born and raised right over yonder. You see over there, that white house right in behind there. Yeah. And later on, why we tore the old house down and moved it across the creek here and right down here. And right there's the house I was born in and raised in. And my father, he, he had an accident. He was fixing to shoot a dynamite. You know, we'd been shooting it all day and he went in and made him a dynamite up and had a box of caps in one hand and a stick of dynamite in the other hand and he's smoking a Chesterfield cigarette. And he, just as he went to turn around with it, well, it all went off in his hands. Just blowed them off, just left them sticking right to the ceiling, you know. And I've had a pretty tough life. I had to go to work young. From 10 year old on up, I had to, I had to start work. I mean, that was just working uh, on the farm, you know. I yeah. think it was 25 cents a day, I think, what I got. And then at the age of 16, I went to work in the coal mines driving ponies in one of these truck mines for my uncle. Where was that? That was down here at Olby. That's the mouth of the it's a Camel Coal Company down there. And then from there, meantime, I'd play music, you know, and then I'd work in the mines. And I got a job on the L&N Railroad. Well, tell us a little bit about music up here in Line Fork when you was a little boy and how you got inspired to learn to play it. Well. These old timers, most of them's done passed on, you know. I, I got to listen at them play. And most my daddy, he played the banjo, and before he got his hands blowed off, and my uncle, they, they all played, and I just took an interest in it. And and I, there's a big field right over there, about three or four acres in it, and uh, I got to want me a banjo. I've got the first banjo that ever I owned. And I cut all them stalks right over there in that field. I ruck them up, burn them. Took me about four or five days. And my grandfather gave me a dollar, and I went and bought this banjo. I'd take that banjo to the field with me right back in yonder, and there was a big apple tree. We'd rest every round that we'd make. I got one sister and one brother. And every round while we'd make, well, I'd grab that banjo and... I'd start playing it, you know. finger broke there. See, it's crooked. Well, that burnt me on the three finger and it's crooked this right for this drop thumb, you know. So you rock your, get your rhythm with your thumb here. See. Now, and I've learned this and I can, I can do anything it anybody can with uh, three fingers, I can do it drop thumb. And I can do this, oh, just anything, just uh, old train 45 or me and my old banjo now.
Show me your dogs there. Well, let's see. Right up here is one. Queen. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Well, that's a good rabbit dog, too. You've been doing some hunting this year, ain't you? I've got two more down there. I've just about sold out. I get them, train them, guarantee them. Man, if they don't do what I say they do, bring them back and get their money back. Oh, I take them out about age dark every night whenever the rabbits are stirring, see? They can get a hot scent after them, boy, and they'll take right off. And then I'll run them three or four times eight or dark, and quit running them eight or dark, and then start hunting them every morning, see? Boy, I'd like to see all the dogs that's been tied up right here and down there on this farm here. Beagle hounds, that's all the fool with, beagles. Yeah. You got any for sale? Not right now, I haven't. But I will have. I'm going to get me some this weekend. How much you sell them for? Sell the males for $50 and the females $35. That's after you train? That's after I train them. I really don't make no money on them. Dog food's so high, but I just like to fool with them, you know like to please the people that likes to hunt. My beagles and my pony and my banjo and my chickens, that's, that's what I fool with. <laughs> All right, right here is an old fiddle tune. Is, uh, called, some calls it the wild Indian and some, you know, the lost Indian. And, and I... I Heard Murray and Sumner do this and a lot of times and there would work square dances, you know. Me and Murray and worked to these here uh well it was uh bars and things, you know, like that and uh and nightclubs, you know, and uh we worked uh, down here at Jeff, Kentucky, on Route Seven, Russell Cornets there and uh and so uh them guys from Leslie County over in there drive in big Mac trucks in there coming to the square dance and they'd be parked from Russell Cornets there cleaned out Jeff in big Mac trucks. And boy, they'd really get with it, you know. And of course, we'd have a little moonshine, you know, to drink along and plenty beer. And me, me and Murray, and we hit it pretty heavy then, you know. And we get cranked up and old Murray had always fiddle this tune here and I picked this tune up for Murray, you know. It's Lost Indian. <laughs> That's really a good square dance tune right there. Get Murray and Sumner hold of a fiddle and let me on the five string banjo and a guitar. That, that's the way we did it. And boy, they would really, they would really get lost with it. I'd like to do an old tune here. I always liked it. It's uh, a regular, regular old Baptist uh, tune. It's uh, uh, Amazing Grace.
that go up there at that store, at that bridge turns across and keep right handed and it'll bring you right over here. Go up there at that store, just above that store, that bridge turns across and keep right handed and it'll bring you right in here. I've been trying to get that bridge fixed there and they promised to fix it and if they don't, I ain't going to vote. Nary vote. <laughs> you don't think they'll fix it by election day? If they do don't, they won't get no vote. Come on, Cindy. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Come on. The guy asked me, one of my friends asked me how many rabbits I killed last year and I told him I liked about one tail of having an onion sack full of tail. <laughs> I used to go down Jackson County. These things here, you can't really kill them here back in these strip jobs up in here where they've stripped this coal, they've got overdrive in them. Whenever you get them up, this this gone. You said you get $50 for that dog, are you supposed to get $50 for that right there? Well, there's Murray Sumbra. Well, hello, <laughs> Larry. <laughs> I didn't see you. How are you doing? Pretty good, Lee. You doing all right? Yes, sir, buddy. Did you come down to get me teach you some fiddling? I come down to get you to teach me some, buddy. You been telling everybody else you taught me? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know I have, you know, yeah. off the door. <laughs> yeah, we've done a lot of teaching, Amos. Oh, we have. No, I'll take that back. Old Marin's uh, best fiddler there is around this part of the country. That's the first time I met Marin was in Norton, Virginia. I woke up one morning and somebody's in the bed with him. I didn't know who it was. And his brother, Bobby, he was playing the fiddle for us then. I said, Bobby, I said, who is this guy? And Bobby said, I don't know. I said, every thing comes along, every old piece of trash that comes along, I said, you first stick some right in bed. <laughs> I didn't know Marine, see. <laughs> well, I got up, went <laughs> to get dressed, and I, I see the extra fiddle sitting there, and then I, I thought, now that might be Bobby's brother. I soon found out and never went to the radio station who he was. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good old day, wasn't it? Oh, you ain't a kidding. Boy, we've worked the many square dancing. We sure have. More square dances than anything. Gee, I guess we worked square dancing probably four or five years. I've seen that over here at Carcass on and the head of Bull Creek over there, them old women would come in there with ball shoes on. <laughs> yeah. They'd dance, you can pure smell the rubber. Well, There's a lot on their feet, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we really had a time. Down at Russell Corns. Yeah, Russell Corns and Kula Bashers. Oh, yeah. Played a many dance of Kula Bashers, didn't we? Oh, we did. You ain't kidding. Yeah. Oh, what that banjo that I played, if you could have squeezed the beer out of the hat of it, they'd have been a half a gallon of beer. <laughs> Be a playing, you know, right back of playing, somebody turned the beer up, me a drinking and a play. Yeah, the hair on my fiddle bow was white when I first started working there. When I left, there, it was gold and yellow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, I'd look around sometimes, Murray would be standing on one foot like this going backwards, you know, <laughs> but he, he'd never miss a note. <laughs> <laughs> but we've quit that now, ain't we? Yeah. yeah. Been quite a spell since I've drank it. Me too. Been a long old time. <laughs> oh, we still work a few square dances long Yeah, we work square dances once in a while, yeah. Yeah. When they call on us. Yeah. <laughs> No, what I said about me learning Marion to play the fiddle there, if I was to live be 200 years old, I'd never jerk a fiddle bowl like Marion does.
heels and your heels on that side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep that on. Uh, you look good to that on my ears. <laughs> keep that on. You look good. <laughs> That's the best part about hiding my face. <laughs> you want to borrow my teeth? Yeah, borrow your teeth. Here. <laughs> Here, see if they'll fit. <laughs> <laughs> I tried that one time. Uh, boy, you know, we played a big party the other night. And, and, and so I, I don't wear mine half the time, and I had them in my pocket. And me and Murray went over to a big patio where they had barbecued ribs, you know. And we had a cookout, you know, and me and Murray went over there, and the guy had the... Community bar center? No, you know, up at, uh, up oh. at May King. Oh, yeah. He come over and he said, boy, I said, what are you doing over here? And I said, I had to get over here where I was alone wearing my teeth. So he beat me. <laughs> it's a barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> <laughs> boy, me and Murray, that's fun there we are. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, do that. Wait a minute. Huh? Do it again. <laughs> 